political strategist uh, Jim Warren is here to talk about the resignation of Sean Spicer. My first question is, do you think that it was his choice or was he pushed? I think he was definitely pushed out. Look, I think the day he took this job, he knew it was mission impossible. He'd lose it someday. But he must have thought that he'd last longer than you know, less than a year. So he's going to make a lot of money. He'll do very well, but he definitely has a bruised ego because he thought he could outlast and fight with the media a lot longer than he did. But there's a recognition as well from a lot of folks that he was simply parroting the message that was delivered to him by his boss, Donald Trump. Um, and Donald Trump, what, bowed to pressure, which doesn't seem like something that's sort of in his his, his sort of pocket of tools is bowing. It's mission impossible because you're working for the most unpredictable politician in the history of politics. And so how do you speak for somebody when you have no idea what they're going to say or do? So the other challenge with Donald Trump is he watches the press. If you work for Mayor John Tory, if you work for Premier Wynn, they don't sit and watch your news conferences as a spokesperson. This guy does. He cares about what you say. So he's set up to fail. This all being said, Trump sees his numbers languishing in the polls. There's a lot of internal fighting inside the White House. Staff turn on each other. The president starts to turn on people, and Spicer got pushed out. What do you think was the pivotal moment for the end of Sean Spicer in this role? Was there one, or was it a culmination of missteps? I think what you see is a couple months ago when SNL was making so much fun of him, there was probably a push to get rid of them then. But Trump doesn't like to be told what to do. He's his own man. So what they do is they wait now till the lull of summer, the time when everyone's heading, heading off to Cape Cod to summer vacation. If you're going to make a change, if you're going to retool the White House, the end of middle of July is the time to do it. How relevant is that role of the guy who is the, essentially the person between the media and the public and the president? It's one of the most important roles because you're the face of that politician. You're the basically chief salesman and then you also give the explanation. You're trying to get the media to soften up a bit and get you on your side. Again, the challenge in this situation is when you have the president tweeting at all hours of the night to hundreds of millions of followers, it's really difficult to do your job. And so you are. You, you're going to see a litany, I think, of failures of people in this position because it's set up to fail. And it's really actually to the president's benefit because he wants to sell himself. He thinks he is the best at selling himself, better than anyone else could ever be. He's the chief salesman, the chief marketer. And so that's what he really wants at the end of the day. And so talking about that, Sean Spicer's replacement? Uh, he was very smooth. He was very uh, knowledgeable today. And he had the media eating out of his hand. And so we're going to see a marked different strategy. We're going to see somebody who's going to try and charm you rather than fight with you. And so we'll see. At the end of the day, though, this sort of act will wear thin and what will happen the first day when he comes out and says it's going to rain tomorrow and the president tweets that it's going to be sunny. It'll be 180 degrees difference and that'll be his problem. And your prediction is that this is just the first of many replacement, replacement, replacement press secretaries? In The Apprentice, there's always a new apprentice every year. I'm sure you're going to see the same thing in this role. He, he, you're fired. You're going to hear that a few times before this reality show is over. Do you think, though, that this, this role will have an impact on the way that the president is portrayed in the media? if there is a better relationship between the press secretary and the press. I think what you can see here is sometimes in these jobs in politics, you're better off to be the second person to do the job. So Sean Spicer has set the bar so low that really this person should be able to help the president. Does he destroy himself? Perhaps he does. But you're going to see in the next three, four months, a lot of media commentary. It's inside navel gazing, but you'll see this commentary saying, oh, this guy's doing better than the last guy. And it's just because you're not the last guy. And so longer term, Trump will get reelected based on what he does rather than any of his staff. Awesome. Jim Warren, thanks so much. Thanks, Avery.